case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The 2007 case of Scott v. Singular Wireless is an impactful case revolving around a controversial point in consumer law. The case asked the Washington Supreme Court to consider whether class action waivers in contracts can genuinely be enforced if they are in conflict with public policy and deemed unconscionable. The lawsuit was ignited by customers of Singular Wireless, who alleged the company was imposing unlawful roaming fees and hiding certain charges. The initial decision by the lower court ordered individual arbitration, based on the clause embedded in the customer's contracts that prohibited class action lawsuits. The plaintiffs, however, took issue with this, arguing that this clause was itself unfair and illegal. They contended it not only denied them protection under Washington's Consumer Protection Act, CPA, but it also provided singular a way out, an escape from any potential wrongdoing. The Washington Supreme Court sided with the plaintiffs, ruling that the arbitration clause, and more specifically its class action waiver, was indeed unconscionable and thereby unenforceable. This was primarily due to the fact that it contravened the CPA's intention of allowing consumers to act as private attorneys general and undermined the mechanism to aggregate small claims for efficiency, deterrence, and access to justice. This ruling rendered the entire arbitration clause null and void, leading to a complete revision of the previous court order. Instead of compelling individual arbitration, the matter was returned to the trial court for more in-depth legal procedures. It opened the door for a reconsideration of how businesses draft their service contracts, particularly in aspects related to customer dispute resolution. In this sense, it marked a significant moment in the evolution of consumer protection law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.